So let's look at this example of balancing a chemical equation, worked example 6.2. Here we are reacting a hydrocarbon octane with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. So pause the video and balance this chemical equation by changing the coefficients. Now you may have seen that it's relatively easy to balance the carbon and the hydrogen, but you may have run into a problem when you went to balance the oxygen. So when we balance a chemical equation, it's really useful to write these little lines in front of each chemical formula because that reminds us that it's the coefficient that we change when we balance a chemical equation. We see that we have eight carbon atoms on our reactant side, and if we place a coefficient in front of eight for the carbon dioxide, we have balanced our carbons. We also see that we have 18 hydrogen on our reactant side, and if we place a coefficient of 9 in front of our water, we then have 18 hydrogen atoms. So carbon and hydrogen relatively easy to balance. However, when we look at our oxygen, I have 8 times 2, which is 16, plus 9 times 1, which is 9. So 16 plus 9 is 25. And there's no whole number that we can multiply 2 by to get 25. I can multiply 12 and a half by 2 to get 25. But we tend to frown upon fractions when we look at coefficients. So when this happens, which it does happen often when we balance the combustion of hydrocarbons or the reaction of oxygen with hydrocarbons, we just multiply each coefficient by 2, and that clears out that fraction. When I multiply the coefficient in front of octane, which is 1, by 2, I get a coefficient of 2. When I multiply 12.5 by 2, I get 25. When I multiply 8 by 2, I get 16. And when I multiply 19 by 2, I get 18. Our equation continues to be balanced, and our coefficients have no common factor uh, gr greater than one. So and when we're balancing a chemical equation, not only do we want to refrain from using fractions, but we also want to make sure that our coefficients cannot be um, mathematically reduced by a common factor other than one. So let's look at to make sure it's balanced. Let's look at our carbons. On the reactant side, 2 times 8, 16. 16 times 1, 16. Carbon's balanced. Let's look at our hydrogen. 2 times 18 is 36. 18 times 2 is 36. Hydrogen's balanced. Now let's look at oxygen. 25 times 2 is 50 on my reactant side. So 16 times 2 is 32, plus 18 is 50. So my oxygen atoms are balanced as well.